Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today I'll be unboxing the Night School Moonlit Magic Deck. That's this little beauty right here. Very cute. This is published by Running Press, also known as RP Studio, and this is part of their RP Minis collection. So they're little mini decks that they put out, little mini mini decks or other things. They have other little mini little things that you can get from this collection that they put out. And I'm really excited. So this particular set, the Night School, uh, was sent to me as part of a welcome box for their Ambassador Influencer Program. I will leave in the cards above on the top right hand corner. You'll be able to find an eye and I will leave the unboxing of the full box so you can see everything that I received for um, as a welcome to the Ambassador Program as well as for review uh, for my channel. In the cards above so you can go check it out it was a fun little time i had <laughs> i had a great time opening it there was some fun stuff so yes this was one of the sets that was included it was these oracle deck plus this beautiful journal right here uh, it's a guided journal. It's Notes for the Night, a guided journal for Moonlit Magic by Maya Toll and illustrated by Lucille Clerk. And then the actual book that she wrote. So the Night School Lessons in Moonlight, Magic, and the Mysteries of Being Human, again by Maya Toll and illustrated by Lucille Clerk. So I'm really excited to actually dive into these books. Um... And read them and like actually do the the prompts in this guided journal I think it would be really fun so yeah I'm super excited I've talked about this deck uh, I've actually talked about this deck on my channel before uh, in my upcoming releases video I never understood what the night school was so when I received this particular set in the welcome box I was really excited to actually dive in to see what this is and what I have been talking about in my upcoming releases in regards to the deck so we have a cute little book here I'm just gonna slide that out so the box is really nice on the outside. It's this hard box. It has a really nice magnetic closure. Very cute. Very nice, I have to say. Uh, this deck does retail for $12.95 in the U.S. and $16.50 in Canada. In the back, it says, Explore the magic and mystery of the night. Further your magical practice with bite-sized mantras, rituals, essential concepts, and key symbols in this 100-card deck inspired by Maya Toll's The Night School. This enchanted set includes a mini book to ground and inspire your mystical explorations. So yes, really, really excited. So compared to my rune uh, set, the rune set that they included in the box, it didn't have this thing. So I'm hoping that this will be easier. Oh, thank God, it's easier to open. So the rune set should have had this for me to be able to open it easier. I don't know how I feel about this plastic thing, to be honest. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little, I don't know. I don't know about it. I don't know how I feel about it. A little, because the box on the outside is so nice, and then you have this cheap plastic thing inside. So I don't know. I think it would have been cuter if like the bottom was finished and the top was finished and then the deck was inside and then all you had to do was tip it out to get it. Uh, I think that would have been better in my, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> like keep, keep still the smallness of the box because I find that really cute. This would be easy to travel with in my opinion. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about about the plastic, about the plastic. Uh, so the deck is shrink wrapped, as you can see. There was just a sticker on the box here. I took it off. So I'm going to take that out. So the deck is gilded, which I didn't even realize until now. <laughs> like I'm so obsessed with the box I'm not even noticing that there's gilding on this deck that's nice actually it's like a brown it goes with the um the word night that's actually really nice I really like that actually that's cool 
So there's a hundred cards in this, which is really interesting. So this will be the second biggest deck that I own. So the first one has the first one that has the most cards in my collection would be the tea leaf fortune cards. Um, that has 200 cards in it. It's an Oracle of 200 and this is a hundred. I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have anything in between that. So I think it's that and then this, and then everything else would be tarot, I think. Well, actually, no, I do have an Oracle deck that's 78 cards. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get into the book first before we get into the deck. This cute little book. It's so cute. But we have the big book also. So that's actually really good. What I love about this set is that you can buy everything separately. But if you wanted to get the deck and you found that this particular guidebook or book on the night school was insufficient, you could get the bigger book that we have here. This one here. That goes more in depth on what the night school is and lessons and things like that. So I think that's a good thing in my opinion. How much does this book retail for? So in the US this book retails for $24 and in the in Canada it retails for $30. So not bad, not bad. I do love the the illustrations though they're so beautiful and this book is thick like look at the thickness it's a beautiful hardcover book which wow honestly really beautiful I'm excited to get into this uh, maybe I'll show a bit more of the books um, from a different angle afterwards that way you can see more of that so this is the guidebook or the little book that came with it I don't know if it's a guidebook necessarily but Oh, this is a mini course. Oh, cute. Welcome to the night school's mini course in moonlit magic. <laughs> As daylight fades, the evening hours become what they've always been. A breath of mystery. A time when reality tastes different on your tongue. At dusk, it's possible to step into the mystic and know that many shades of gray that make up both the universe and your own psyche. Welcome to Moonlit Magic, Firefly. Dare to question your day, time, truths, and what you think you know or believe. Think in circles and spirals and shooting stars. Consider the waxing and waning of the moon. And know that every question you ponder will lead you closer to the truth, but to your truth so you can craft your own kind of magic. <clears throat> None of this needs to make sense by the light of day. The logic of light has nothing to do with the dream spaces of night's darkness. Your night school cards are full of gentle magic and the lore of the mystics. Don't think too hard. Simply follow the strands of intuition and inner knowing. By diving into the unknown, you'll find not only yourself but also the lost magic of the world, the place where serendipity lives, and you can only see the truth out of the corner of your eye. Interesting. Oh, you can pull it as a journal prompt. Shuffle before bed. Oh, they have rules. School rules are simple. Be brave and curious. Stay true to yourself and be sure to nurture your sense of humor. <laughs> Fuzzy slippers are encouraged and mud masks are allowed. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so cute. This is actually really cute. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's like a mantra thing. Magic is everywhere. To see, uh, to see it and the effects it has on your life, change the way you perceive the world. To harness it, change the way you interact with the energies around you. To know it, change the way you think. To live it, 
Remember the lessons of the night as you go about your day. Oh, I love that. Okay, we have supplies, journals, candles. Interesting, scrying mirror. Window, deck, porch, front stoop, sit spot, or meadow. A pocket compass. I don't think I have a pocket compass. We have some salts. A rattle, a pendulum. Herb bundle. Tarot deck. Interesting. Scrying mirror. Star map. We have the Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. It's time to begin. Yeah, so this is cute. Um, yeah, this is cute. I think I saw when I unboxed this, I looked at the table of contents. I think a lot of the things that they talk about in here, you actually get to do in the bigger book that's here. So, yeah. Okay. Let's, begin. okay, so let's get into the deck. So these are the backs. Pretty sure the backs are all the same. Yeah, the backs are all the same. Okay, so practice reading symbols. interesting so we have uh, three cards it seems like on practicing reading symbols so then we have unleash your senses interesting okay then we have your hero's journey turn a piece of your own life story into a hero's journey write it as a long form story or a screenplay or create a video a painting or a collage interesting so we have part one Call to Adventure, Part 2, Supreme Ordeal or Initiation, uh, Part 3, Unification Transformation, and Part 4, Road Back, Heroes Return. And then it gives you um, different words. Interesting. We have another card of that. Then we have... Cruising Saturn. Interesting. Yeah, my Saturn return is like a while away. <laughs> Cruising Mars. Interesting. My Mars return I think is this year, but I have to check again. Cruising Venus. Cruising Mercury. Nice. Uh, chart your tides. Interesting. Scrying the stars. What practices can you put in place? Astrological energies. Uh, energetics. We have Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo. 
Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries. Oh, that's cool. I like the astrological. The stars, the gods, and you. Stonehenge. The experimenter affects the experiment. Oops. Ancient sites research. Mayan ruin of Chichen Itza in Mexico. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. If I did not, I apologize. Ancient sites research. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Nice. This is interesting. Temple of Amun at Karnak. Interesting. I like these ancient sites re uh, research. It kind of like allows you to expand your knowledge outside of like your own bubble, which is pretty nice. There's like a lot you can do with that other than just answering the, the questions that are on the card, in my opinion. What is your earliest memory? Practice observation. Let the moon be your pocket watch. Interesting. Research how the moon can be used to mark the hours of the night. Learn the myths. Write a stellar story. Write and burn. Hmm. An alternative to burning, just to let you know, because I'm reading this and I'm just like, hmm, interesting, interesting. Um, an alternative to burning, if you can't burn things in your house, or maybe you're in the closet, you know, that's okay. Uh, shredding. If you have a shredder, great way to um, burn things alternatively without the actual aspect of burning. Shredding is perfect. Learn the myths. Nice. The Ayurvedic system. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Apologies if I didn't. This is the full five elements. Earth, air, fire, water, ether. Interesting. Five element system. Oh, this is Chinese. Nice. That's so interesting. You get to learn about so many different cultures. You're really expanding your horizons here. This is good. I'm really liking this so far, actually. Bananas Foster Alchemy Lab. Interesting. The fifth element. Fire. Air, water, earth, all the elements together, read the sticks, hmm. read the leaves, we have a thing on scrying, it's interesting. Contemplate the infinite. Connect. Make a burnable herb bundle or herb bundle. Herb bundle? No, it's herb bundle. Show me yes. Shake, rattle, and roll. 
mutable signs in astrology, fixed signs in astrology, cardinal signs in astrology. Ooh, we have some more practice reading symbols. Ooh, interpret a dream. Ooh, we have research a symbol. Salt and soak. Reading macro patterns. Reading micro patterns. The collective unconscious. Amplify your intuition. When doing divination, ask the right question. Observe a pattern. What's your why? Mystical family tree. The role of DNA. Claire Gustens, 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 Claire Alliance, Claire Sentient, Claire Connoissant, Claire Audient, Clairvoyant. Love that they have the Claires in here. Claires are not that popular in my opinion. I feel like clairvoyant is the most known out of the clairs and then everyone assumes that's the one that people have the most. But yeah, nurture versus magical nature. Inventory your influencers. Uh, Self-care. Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Oh my god, I love this. Yes! <laughs> I've been learning about this all my life. <laughs> Energy flows in tension. Step outside yourself. The experimenter affects the experiment. Know thyself. How do you interpret this ancient Greek inscription? I don't know. I don't read ancient Greek. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to figure it out. Notice you're noticing. Find your equilibrium. Step into change. Alchemy. Science versus magic. Go dark. Okay. It's, uh, it's piled getting out of hand here. Okay. Find the spark. Create a collage. Write a haiku. Unleash your senses. And then we have the we have the night mantra. So their mantra that I read earlier. That is so fun. I have to say, I'm actually really excited to dive into this. There's a lot of good information. And I feel like these cards offer a lot, especially to someone who might be new to witchcraft or doing witchy type things or things that are like considered magical or spiritual or just getting into this space and in this community and I find like this deck does a good job of that like it's very tidbit and just gives you basic information but a lot of the cards are like asking questions giving you activities telling you to research stuff which is so important and I find that people nowadays and mainly this is just based on my experience of being part of, of a community where people can ask questions in and things like that. But I find a lot of people are not doing their own research. And that's a lot of the problem. They just want answers, which is okay, I guess. But you don't learn anything yourself when you're getting into a new practice or getting into a new community or a new space. 
by just people spoon feeding you answers to things. And you really need to take time and you need to do your research on specific subjects and cultures and expand your knowledge and really do your due diligence to learn, right? And I feel like this deck does a lot of that with the research this, answer these questions. What kind of, like, what are you finding? How do you connect to this? And things like that. And I think that's just so good, um, in my opinion. So the cards are matte. They are a bit clumpy. Um... I think it'll be fine with use. This is a small deck, so shuffling is easy. So yeah, you can just use it as a pull a day. You can like go through it and find specific cards. If that's what you want. Honestly, this deck you can literally use however you want to use it. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's super fun. And I like this very much. Again, the box, really nice. I just, I'm not, not a, a fan of this plastic thing. I wish that it was actually closed at the bottom and at the top. And the cards just went in, inside. And then that's it. That would have been so much better, in my opinion. At least this one is easier to open than the runes set, because that one was quite difficult for me to open. So at least that much. Um, but I think it'll be annoying to have to constantly take the, the, the deck in and out constantly to make sure I put this in properly. There. So... Yeah, and then we have to slip in the little book. Like that. And then close it. So cute. Very good for on the go. Honestly, you could take this with you and do a fun little night with the friends. Uh, with that kind of thing, I find would be really fun, in my opinion. Now I'm going to switch kind of view so I can show a bit of the books. So give me one second to do that. Okay, so uh, let's go through the uh, guided journal first. I think that would be fun. I don't know if there's a table of contents or anything like that. So we have like a welcome page here. And then we have the uh, night mantra or night school mantra. And then it goes into journaling. So the first one is about journaling the mantra. You have a few pages for that. There's some other prompts. So you have different prompts and then you have several pages or enough space to really go deep into the, the prompt that you're given, which is really nice. I really, really like this, and I I want to do it. I want to actually go through this and do that. Then we have the uh, night school book here. This one's the lessons. So we have this beautiful northern hemisphere um, star map, and then we have the southern hemisphere in the back, which is so beautiful. So well done. I have to say the quality, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely worth the $30 Canadian this is. So here's the table of contents. I love how the table of contents is structured as if it's like a school course. <laughs> when I saw that in my unboxing of the welcome box i was like how fun is that where it's like semester one break office hour semester two office hour and final exams like i think that's so fun and i'm excited to read this and actually use the journal and the deck together i think it would be a fun little study thing for me and i think i'm going to do this uh next year 
so starting in January, I'm going to go through it and read it, and it will be my little study thing for the year. I think it will be a fun thing. There's a new student orientation. I just find that so fun. Like, <sighs> ooh, choose the type of divination. So fun. I, my choice would be tarot. Tarot and oracle are my top choices for divination. There's homework and everything. I think that's so fun. Look, there's a syllabus. Oh my god. I love it. While I don't miss school in particular, I think this would be a fun thing to do. Um, because I'm doing it on my own time and at my own pace. And uh, actual school is not like that. <laughs> so, right? You have deadlines and things need to be done by a certain time. So I feel like this is way more uh, laid back in my opinion. So yes, this is the night school lessons in moonlight, uh, moonlight magic and the mysteries of human, uh, of being human. We have the guided journal here and then we have the oracle deck, moonlit magic deck. So yes, I'm really excited to have received this and excited to dive in. I actually like this more than I thought I would. I was like, ah, eh, whatever. It's just a witchy thing and you can learn from it. But I didn't think that I would like it as much as I do. <laughs> I really actually really like this. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this set, of this deck. Uh, is this something that you would bring into your own collection? I would love to hear from you in the comments below, no matter what your opinion is. Of course, I love to hear everyone's opinion. So it's great. We can have a good conversation in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and it helps me in the long run. Thank you so much and I hope that you have a great day.